Morning. Welcome to Nail School with Greg Solo. You guys are doing well today. For those of you guys that just joined us, uh, just make sure to smash the like button throughout the demonstration. That way you guys will be able to help us push this content to more people who are starving for nail education. All right, so what we're going to end up doing is going over basically the right angle to apply acrylic when working around the cuticle, right? So in order for you to, to get that level of perfection, you have to remember that, right, what we're trying to do, if this was, right, if this was the natural nail and whatever extension you're building here, you have to remember this back end. We're trying to create this, right? We're not trying to create this big block on the back end. You're trying to create as flush of a cuticle area as you possibly can. Now, in order to achieve this level of perfection, the brush has to be at the right angle, right? So you'll notice if the finger was flat and I was applying acrylic like this, the biggest problem I have with this, as you can see, is it creates that blocky edge, what we need to be able to do is be able to get it, when I'm laying it down, I need to get it at an angle just like that. You can see that my hand is actually straight. I don't want to apply it like this. The biggest mistake that a lot of beginners make when they're working is that when they pick up acrylic, if I submerse my brush, I pull down at a 45 degree angle and I bounce inside my powder to get a nice fluffy bead, a lot of beginners will do this. They'll just push it to the back, right? So if you end up pushing it to the back, it ends up flooding the cuticle area and you end up having no chance of actually getting that perfect ledge around the perimeter of the nail, right? We're trying to ach achieve this. You'll notice, again, right, if this was, again, the surface of the nail, if this was the natural nail and I applied the acrylic down to the back end, if the brush is straight, right, look at this. If the brush is straight, what's going to end up happening when you're actually pressing it down? You're going to create that nice ledge around the back end of the brush, right, or the back end of the cuticle area. So you'll notice, again, from a side profile, if I'm sitting here at the side, you can see that, right, look at this, right, the angle, right? I'm not like this. I'm not like this. I am sitting like this, right? For those of you guys who just joined us, make sure to smash that like button, right? Again, it's going to help push the content up so that we're going to be able to get this out to more viewers who are interested in learning how to do nails well. We need to make sure that we're successful in picking up our bead, right? So you're going to see if I submerse my brush and then I'm actually able to pull down and bounce into the surface of around the perimeter of the nail. That's exactly what we want, right? We need space that way when I'm touching around the back end, it's going to be able, again, to be very easily manipulated into this type of level, okay? So if I submerse my brush and I get myself again by pulling down and getting a nice bead on one side, if the finger is angled down and I wait two, three, and then around four, watch this. If I use the tip, all I have to do is walk around the perimeter of the nail as the bead starts a slow roll down towards the stress area. Now at this point, if I choose to use the body of my brush and maybe get myself a nice smile line, what you will notice is the angle, right? I don't want to set myself up where I have this big block around the perimeter of the nail. You wanna be able to set yourself up so that when you're filing around the perimeter of the nail, it's the least amount of effort. You should be able to blend around the perimeter, the perimeter with ease. Let's go ahead and repeat the step over again, right? So the thing that I do, and I'm going ahead and I'm just wiping everything off the nail, right? That way we can continue to practice. But for those of you guys out here that are learning how to do this, your, your first step to success is learning how to pick this up, right? 
Um, you have to be able, again, you have to be able to submerse your brush. You have to be able to come in at the right angle. You have to be able to bounce inside the powder and again, execute picking it up on one side. Do not submerse your brush and jab the tip, right? You're going to notice that you get this really crappy bead around the tip of the brush. You don't want to water ski across the surface. You're going to get an uneven structure again where it's really dry around the edges and really, really flat. What you want to be able to do is submerse again and at the right angle. If you pull down and bounce inside the powder, you're going to be able to get something nice and fluffy again on one side. That way, when it releases, it releases with ease. You want to be able to work with something that is a slow roll, not something that is running. You'll notice a lot of beginners, what ends up happening is they'll get themselves way too much liquid. Let's just say you are successful at actually picking it up. Let's say you are bouncing in the powder. What ends up happening is a lot of beginners end up rushing it and they press. Look at this. See how I press to the front of the bead like this? It almost creates a mushroom. And the mushroom ends up like basically running off the side. And this ends up creating a problem because it ends up coming down the side of the nail and getting all over the place. You're going to notice the difference if I was actually just waiting, right? If I submerse my brush, for those of you guys that just joined, make sure to smash that like button. If I submerse my brush and I tap and I actually pull down at an angle, watch this, and load this up. Watch this. One, two, three, four, and then I end up setting it down. It not only has a perfect workability where I'm actually able to just lightly touch a perfect cuticle area, you're going to notice that the bead slowly rolls down. So if I wanted to just touch the side, look at this. If I wanted to really focus on trying to get a smile line perfect, I don't need to do anything but use the wedge of my brush and the right balance and tuck it back. Why? Because I have a nice, beautiful, slow roll. I don't have something that is losing control and running off the sides, all right? In, in, in all situations when it comes to doing nails, we are, again, I, t I teach my students that you have to be able to execute the overlay with precision. And, and, and the precision means not depending on your brush. You have to depend on gravity to be able to work for you, not against you, right? So a lot of you guys out there that are working, try to get it to a point, submerse your brush, again, load your brush, uh, pull down at a 45 degree angle, bounce inside the powder, wait a few seconds, then go ahead and release. This is going to give you that beautiful consistency where you're able just to touch, touch. Look at this, touch, touch, touch. And then again, watch this. If I'm literally touching, if I'm just lightly kind of touching the surface, it can get to a point where I'm like, you know what? I think I'm just going to lightly feather and then wipe my brush at the same time. Feather and wipe feather and wipe and take a look at, look at how beautiful my overlay becomes. And I didn't do anything. All I did was lightly pull through, create that beautiful overlay, right? It's the same process you're going to be doing when you're actually sculpting nails. If you're able to set up the cuticle area where you don't have to do that much filing, the amount of time you're going to save when it actually comes to you doing nails is tremendous. Because again, there's three points the determined lifting. One, improper preparation. Two, right, is your application. You're not getting it tight like this. And three is over filing before the product actually sets. It, it, it's not just like it's set you can file. What ends up happening is a lot of people end up building a cuticle area way too thick around this area. They end up jackhammering it into shape, which takes 20, 30 minutes. That's going to disrupt the bond, create lifting. Okay, so all of you guys out there, it's really important that when you're working, again, getting the right bead, and, and again, it doesn't matter what size finger you're working, if you submerse that brush and you can pull down inside the powder, submerse my brush, I'm going to pull down and bounce inside my powder, watch this, just one, two, three, and then around four, I'm going to just go ahead and release, wipe my brush. Then I have beautiful consistency where I'm able to lightly touch 
around the perimeter of the nail as the bead not only levels this way, it levels this way. So if I need to get to a point, lightly feather my sides. Look at this. I don't need to, I don't, I don't need to push it out to the side. All I need to do is feather the side so that I have really, really tight edges. And that's what comes down to it. All right. All right. Fire it up for you guys doing better acrylic nails. If you guys have questions, let us know. Excited about your growth. Um, if you guys have questions, again, hit us up, 1-800-777-9170 or go to www.youngnails.com. Appreciate your time. Look forward to hearing about your progress. Peace. Subscribe channel now. Subscribe channel now. Sub and subscribe to the channel now. Subscribe to the channel.